What is halt? Halt. You know, it means to stop. Stop what? You know that off day I was talking about? You're just feeling off, or maybe you're feeling more than off. Well, halt means to stop, but why? What, what exactly? Well, each letter of halt has a specific meaning and a specific action that you could take to help yourself when you're just feeling that, you know, feeling off, feeling a little bit not so good. You don't know why. So you check your halt. H is for hungry. So if you're feeling off or more than off, stop and ask yourself, are you hungry? And if you are, go get something to eat, something very healthy. Because your body needs fuel. And don't you feel better after you've eaten something that's really healthy? It's like, oh, I'm back in my body. I'm feeling better. It's, ooh, I can relax. Now I have some energy and I can move forward with whatever the task of the day was, right? And maybe, have you ever noticed that your animals can be off? and They're just hungry, right? And they're trying to tell you, give me some food. Please feed me, feed me, feed me. Um... So the same thing can happen to them. If their halt is off, they can be feeling off. And also, do you know that animals reflect you? Our animal companions can be reflecting us. So if we're just being really not ourselves, notice how they're responding to you in that moment. So check your halt. The H is for hungry. Eat something. (laughs) Right? So now let's talk about letter A in HALT. A is for, guess what, angry. So notice, if you're feeling angry, just take a moment, take a breath, and notice, oh, wow, I'm really angry. I need to turn that around. And when you're angry, don't your animals respond in a different way if you're angry? They do. I know mine do. If I get angry, and I do, I don't like it, but it happens. And they're like, whoa, I'm out of (laughs) here. You know, it's just, they're under the bed. um, And that makes me feel horrible. This week during the 2023 Animal Meditation and Healing Group, the meditation was about anger and how we can become less angry. So, There are things we can do to become less angry. So also and not hold on to that anger, right? So just take a nice slow in-breath. Notice how you're feeling if you're angry. Notice that you're angry, you're halt. And what can you do? You can take a breath, just breathing in, breathing out, releasing that anger a little bit. See if you can just let it go a little bit. Be with your animal companions if if you're not that too angry. Just kind of pet them or touch them if they'll let you. Don't force them. And just see how you feel. They can help us be less angry. And we can help them because they get angry too. Have you ever seen an animal get angry? They do. But the thing about animals is usually they don't hold it. We do. We hold it like inside and we let it fester and just, and it's really bad for us. Our health, you know, just all the people around us, like who, you know, you know what it's like, maybe, to be around an angry person. I certainly do. (laughs) I grew up with anger. Anger. (laughs) It's like, please. So just check your, check your halt, check your anger. And maybe you can share, like if you have any tips to share about how do you let go of anger, share it in the comments. Because we're all in this together, in this life, on this journey, we're on this life's journey with our animals, kind of holding hands and paws and hooves and wings (laughs) together on this beautiful journey of life and life's challenges. And we need to check our halt. L is for lonely. So check yourself. Are you feeling lonely? 
Is that why you're going down the tubes? Like when you're lonely, you can feel depressed, really sad. So find a way when you're feeling lonely to not feel lonely. So what might you do? Talk to a friend or a family member, somebody you love. And I don't mean just, yeah, you can text them or email them, but that's not the same as pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm not doing it for anybody. Pick up the phone. There you go. <laughs> pick up the phone or do like, you know, a Zoom or a FaceTime and talk to them and really, really connect with somebody that you care about. And maybe you won't feel so lonely. You've got your, you know, somebody you trust and love. Or go out and be with some people or go see a friend. And if you don't want to do that, or you don't feel like, I don't have any friends, so you're feeling really lonely and really down, you love an animal, you love animals, go to your local rescue or shelter and, and volunteer. And maybe, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. Sometimes they just let you hang out with the animals. And be with the animals. Say hi to the animals. And just, you know, they're lonely too. So you can have a moment together where both of you are feeling really good. Not sad, happy. You have each other in this moment. You have, you know, you get to be with a dog, a cat, a bunny, a bird, a horse, a donkey. You know, whatever animals happen to be at that shelter or rescue. Just in that connection and that being together, you're going to feel less lonely. And maybe you might feel really good about yourself that you made, you know, you helped an animal feel less lonely too. So that's the L in halt, hungry, angry, lonely. And the final letter T. What's the T for? The T in halt. What do you think? It's for tired. So have you ever felt so tired and you keep going? You keep pushing yourself, but you're exhausted. You're really tired. You get cranky. I know I call, I know I do. I call it like, oh darn, I'm cranky baby because I get whiny and like, Wah. and it's like, ah, oh, I just need to take a nap. I'm not a good napper or just go to sleep. I need sleep. You need sleep. So notice when you're feeling just really off, really out of it. You know what I mean? Just not yourself. Ask yourself, am I tired? Oh, I better take a nap. And maybe you'll feel better. So that's halt. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. So the next time that you're feeling not yourself, not your wonderful, shining, happy, heart self, the one that you're, the true you, the true self that your animals see and love and adore, because they see the true you. They, they see and feel that's who they love and that's who you are. But if you're feeling off, not your best self, stop, halt, look at yourself and ask yourself, am I hungry? Am I angry? Am I lonely? Am I tired? Often I check all of the boxes or half of the boxes, more than one. Then do something about it. Together with our animals, we can become better. We can have happier lives, richer lives, fuller lives. <laughs> 